In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to apply a graphic realistically to a product. So say you have a, a graphic and you have bags and t-shirts and hats and all that kind of stuff, and you need to apply them realistically. How do you do that? Uh, so I just have a sample here. Um, here's my graphic, here's this bag, and it looks pretty good on the bag. So let's apply this, for example, to a t-shirt. I'm going to Turn off these layers, I'm going to add a new layer, and I'm going to put in my photograph. I have a photograph already here. All right, so I have a t-shirt, I'm going to bring it up. And okay, so here's my t-shirt, and I have a graphic right over here. Now this graphic has absolutely uh, no shadowing on it or anything like that. In fact, I'm going to delete that because it's too small. I want to have a bigger um, uh, pixel size of it, so I'm going to say insert photo and we'll use this instead. That one had, uh, it was too small of a pixel size. I had a bigger version of it. Okay. Here is my graphic. And I'm happy with the placement. Now, if I go up close, you'll see the edges are kind of hard. It's too pixelated. So let's just tap on that layer, come over here on adjustments and tap on Gaussian blur layer. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna slide over, I'm gonna watch those edges. I, I just want them to be a little bit blurred. That's, this is too much. This is too little, just about like that. Let's see what it looks like. Let's say, let's add a little bit more. Something like that. Okay, now that that is done, now what we're gonna do is we need to add this shadowing effect on the graphic to make this look more real. We need to combine the t-shirt and the graphic with shadows. Okay, so for example, here's the shadow right here. We're gonna take our, uh, well, first we're gonna create a new layer and the shadows are gonna go on that layer. I'm gonna tap on my brush. It's on soft airbrush. I think I'm gonna put it on soft blend and now on my object, I need to decide the color of the shadow. Well, uh, if this shadow was on this figure, it might be, for example, a darker blue version of what's already here. So if I sample this color, okay, now this color's up here. I'm gonna tap here and you're, you're probably on disc mode, but we're gonna go to, um, uh, we'll just go to harmony. I'm gonna lower the value just a bit, maybe to something like that. It's a very uh, gentle uh, shadow contrast. It's not like a harsh shadow, it's very light. So we didn't have to go too far down. All right, so now we have our brush. Let's choose the size of it. And I'm gonna put the opacity kind of low so we can be gentle. Now the last thing is I'm going to tap on layers and I want this layer to only be shown on this layer. And to do that, I can set this layer by tapping it to be a clipping mask. And now nothing will go outside of the boundaries of this skier because it's clipped to this layer. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna tap over here. And uh, let's... I'm going fairly light, not too not too hard. And I'm just going back, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm getting softer as I near the edges when I come to a ridge, so to speak, so for example, here and here, there's the ridge. I'm being more gentle right here because I don't want it to be a harsh edge. 
if I went really hard, okay, it's going to create a harder ridge, and I don't want that, so I'm going to tap off. I'm just going to be just going to be gentle about it. And you just can kind of, you know, zoom back, kind of see what's happening. But I'm just looking for those shadows going very lightly. Okay. So it's looking pretty good. Looking for anything else that maybe I need to add. This part's a little bit darker, so I'm going to make this a little darker. And we already covered over here. This might just have a little bit over here, just a tiny bit. I'm going to lower the brush, just add a tinge on the end. Even, even that's too strong, so just kind of light. There we go. Okay, let's let's check him. Let's check him out. I'd say we kind of covered it. We'll get this one over here. So I'm just looking for all of the all the shadows, and you can, if you really wanted to darken your shadows, of course, you could um, come over here and then keep on lowering the value and deepen those shadows even more. So, for example, I'll just put it on just so you can see. So see how dark that is now. But it's too much for this piece, so we're going to take it off. Just a gentle effect. And now this uh, skier really looks like he is on this t-shirt. Now, as I was making adjustments to this skier, I noticed that this t-shirt I was working on had a little bit of a blemish. No problem. Let's take care of that. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to tap over here, grab this color. I'm on an airbrush. And I'm just going to go over these spots. Now, as I was making adjustments to this skier, I noticed that this t-shirt I was working on had a little bit of a blemish. No problem. Let's take care of that. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to tap over here, grab this color. I'm on an airbrush. And I'm just going to go over these spots. All right. Perfect.